Okay, so we're going to have a look at an app called Marco Polo Ocean. And uh, first thing we're going to do is click on the parents section and uh, go here and it'll tell you exactly how to use the app, what's in here. It's all about free play. Uh, it's all about introducing kids to ocean landscapes, the deep part of the ocean, submersibles, uh, topic spe specific vocabulary, exposure and acquisition, uh, and then some playing tips and so on. And then if you have any questions, you can also go to settings and turn stuff on and off. If you like, you can look at the more section, which will give you ideas of what to do, and you can send feedback. But let's go into the app, and if we click on play, what you'll find is you come to a screen where uh, it's basically the ocean, and what I've already done is I've created everything so I can show you, but you'll notice on the bottom left you've got a circle with a fish, and you've got a top right a circle with a puzzle. If you open this puzzle, it gives you five things to create, and it'll give you information about each one of those. And if you open the one on the bottom left, it gives you fish that you can drop into the ocean like this and you can scroll through them and drop different types of fish into there and they live on the coral reef down here and you can interact with them now if we go back up and we click on the puzzle we can choose any one of these um, so what I'm going to do as I've created them all already I'm going to choose the killer whale just to show you how this works. An orca, also known as a killer whale, is a strong, fast marine mammal. These social animals often travel in groups called pods. Let's build an orca. And you get to build it. Pectoral fin. As you go through the certain parts, it'll give you information if they are relevant. Orcas use their pectoral fins to steer and as a brake to help them slow down. Dorsal fin. Blowhole. Orcas breathe through their blowholes. Fluke. The fluke moves up and down and helps orcas move forward. You built an orca. Okay, once you've done that, uh, you can either go back to the ocean or you can press play here and you get to put in some other animals sort of like a puzzle piece sea otter and it tells you about them sea otter just by clicking on them like that polar bear or at least it tells you their name manatee dolphin seal porpoise humpback whale humpback whales use songs to talk walrus these are all marine mammals Dolphin, humpback whale, polar bear, orca, porpoise, walrus. And then we can go back to the ocean. And what you'll do the first time you'll create them is some of those creatures will appear in your puzzle. So you'll see we have a dolphin here that you can totally interact with. Uh, you can make him jump out of the water by swiping up like that. Everything pretty much in here is interactive. We created the, the orca so we can swim around the ocean with him. And the cool thing about this app being open play, you can go all the way down into the deep, deep, deep ocean. You see the music changes, which is really nice. And you come across things like jellyfish uh, and different things. And you can keep going and going down like this. And we have an angler fish here with the light. You can control him where he goes like this, all the way down to the ocean floor. And he lights up all of the things that you can't see. And you can let him swim around. We can go all the way back up. And we can find some other things that we've created. So we've got the submarine here that we also created. And this is fun to drive around the screen. And go all the way down into the deep again, and discover things. And as you get deeper, it gets darker. So it might be a nice idea to turn the headlights on and you can explore the deep ocean and see what you can find in the ocean floor, like that. You go all the way back up. One of the other things that you could create is the coral reef where the fish are. So if we go back over here, we created this in the puzzles. You can see up here, the coral. This is what we created. And again, within here, everything is pretty much uh, interactive. You can touch certain things and they'll do things. You can also feed the fish. 
case they're hungry. And you can look into different things within the coral like that. Other creatures or animals that we created are the shark. Seems to be quite hungry. And you can swim around with him. And again, he can go anywhere you want him to. So he's a lot of fun. One of the other things you'll notice is up here we uh, have the option of creating this boat, which we did. And then you can use, you can go uh, across the screen in the boat. You can actually take him underwater, which is kind of cool. He makes some bubbles. Not that a boat would want to go underwater. But it's, it's a lot of fun. It's free open play um, with lots of things to create. And as you click on one of these, it tells you more about them. So if we just click a on the boat, boat quickly. A vehicle that floats on water. There are many types of boats, from small rowboats to very large ships that can take people and things from one place to another. And you're going to build Let's that entire build boat. boat. And you'll see you basically just drag the parts until you start to create the boat. The cabin is where people sleep on the ship. Engine. Engine room. And you get the idea and you continue until you've done that. Again, the parts are interactive so you can play along with them. And it's a lot of fun. And then you can go back out to the ocean. So uh, I highly recommend it. It's a great app for free open play and certainly to introduce kids to the uh, ocean environment and the corals and all of the animals that they can play with in there. So if you get a chance, check it out. Uh, it's called Marco Polo Ocean.